First, let's open Canva in app or browser and then create a new design. Then, select the desktop wallpaper. And then, once we have our new design, let's replace the background. So, you could select any color that you like or you could download an image from Pinterest or Google and put it as background. Then we go to elements to add the rectangle for the username and password text box. And so let's select one. Then for example, we select this one. You could replace the color of the shadow and the rectangle box itself. Let's select white. Then let's adjust the size. And then let's create another one for the password text box. And let's copy it again for the login button and the cancel button. So let's place it on the bottom. Now we have our text box. Mag add tayo ng text for the login and the cancel button. I'm using the blogger font so we will be creating the login page sa Canva bago natin i-add sa CapCut you could place any word on top I'm going to place YouTube so it's like a YouTube login or you could put your image on top and then let's search for the YouTube logo and add it here. What I like about Canva is it has tons of readily available clip arts that you could use. There are some premium clip arts, but if you have a student email or student account, you could easily sign up and get these for free. And that's it. We have our template. And let's change the color of the login and cancel buttons. Let's add the browser effect on top. So let's add an element again and search for browser. And this one could do. And let's just maximize it so it would fill the window and stay on top. I'm going to add some free templates that you could use after this video. Once you're satisfied with the colors and designs, just click export download and let's add it to CapCut. So let's open CapCut and add a new project and import the image that we downloaded. Once we added the image, Let's add text and add our username. So I'm going to place my Instagram username. And then let's change the color. Uh, and then I'm going to use this font. It's Nonito font. Then let's click animation and go to the typing effect. And let's drag the duration of the effect para mabagal siya mag-type and then next for our password we just put some asterisk and same sa username we just put the animation of the typing effect and we're done and let's make our intro eight seconds long just by tapping the image or the text then drag it until the eight second mark Next, of course, we will be needing sound effects, which is the typing and mouse clicking sound effect. And meron na siya sa CapCut, so we just need to go to audio and effects, then to mechanical, then the keyboard sound and the mouse click single click sound. 
Ayun, so okay dito sa CapCut kasi it has the sound effects that we need. To duplicate, just select on the sound effect and then click copy. Next, we would like to have the cursor clicking effect sa login button. So we just go to Canva. So Canva has this clip art rin or you could download it on Google. So I will be going to Canva and downloading the cursor in green background para pagdating dito sa CapCut, we just remove it through chroma key. Just click on overlay then add overlay so we could import the cursor that we have downloaded. And then go to chroma key, color picker, let's move it to the green color then set the intensity so that the background would be removed and for us to have the mouse movement effect we are going to use the keyframe so for the keyframe let's set the initial position at the bottom then click this add keyframe then move the time then let's add another keyframe here but this time the cursor would be on the login button and that's how you use the keyframe and have simple movements of objects and of course we don't like to forget the sound effect let's go to audio effects then mechanical then click add mouse click single click and there we have it that's our simple login intro so if you want to add more details you could actually do it and i'm going to make more templates and put it on the end of this video so feel free to use it And going to make other templates so I'm going to Pinterest search for earth tone background select this one and click the three dots to download and then let's go back to Canva and import this image and there here are the templates Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Bye!